First on this Tuesday morning, breaking news, a July 4th provocation from North Korea. They claim to have launched their first intercontinental ballistic missile, as we refer to as an ICBM, overnight. Perhaps a major step toward their goal of being able to hit the United States with a nuclear weapon. ABC's James Longman is in London covering this developing story for us this morning. Good morning, James. Good morning, Paula. A stunning claim overnight. North Korea saying it successfully tested its first intercontinental ballistic missile. The announcement came on state TV early this morning with a secretive regime releasing images it says are of the launch. Now, as usual, it's very difficult to know for sure what's going on in that country. But Japan confirmed overnight that the missile flew for about 40 minutes before landing in the ocean. If true, this would be the first time that North Korea has tested a missile that experts fear could potentially reach Alaska. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and other officials were shown celebrating the successful launch. And overnight, President Trump was tweeting about the test. He asked, does this guy have anything better to do with his life? And James, this comes on the heels of President Trump's summit with South Korea's new leader. But how is the U.S. reacting this morning? Well, Paula, U.S. officials tell us they're analyzing the test. At this point, they believe it was a more standard mid-range missile. Tensions, of course, between the U.S., its allies and North Korea have been on the rise. And the regime saying they've carried out at least 11 missiles tests so far this year. And just last month, the death of 22-year-old American college student Otto Warmbier, of course. He was there after 17 months in captivity. And remember, it's not just about how far a missile can travel, but whether the technology is there to support a nuclear warhead. Paula? Seems they've been more bold and brazen uh, in their actions. James, thanks for your reporting this morning. Dan?